Welcome back, Zero K fans, to the last game tonight. It's gonna or today afternoon. It's gonna be Google Frog versus the Sponge on Kaleo, which is a map that, well, sorry, a game that the Sponge wanted to have analyzed a bit, want to know what he did. So we shall look at it and figure that out. Better than climatic finish for the night, I suppose. But actually, Google Frog and the Sponge aren't too far off in Ella, so it should be pretty interesting. Sponge is going for Clokebot Factory, while Google Frog probably also Clokebot. This map is a very Clokebot heavy factory. Yeah, Sponge got his clicky butts, and Google Frog has. What is he going for? Actually, no indication yet. Okay, he is going for clicky butts as well. So both players are doing the clicky butt game. Like I said, Kaleo is a clicky butt heavy map. Favors the clokies. A couple glaives coming out for Google Frog. Only one coming out for the Sponge. He has it a bit early, so he, both of the players are just going for basic scouting. Neither one's going to go for major harassment at this point. Just want to know what their opponents are up to, and see what happens. Kaleo is, due to the corner starts, a little bit of a tricky, and the hills here, it's a bit of a tricky map to harass against. It's really easy to donate units if you're trying to harass on this map, so players tend not to. Anyway, I, what the heck? Weird. Oh, shoot. Sorry. to close the last game. Oops. Anyway, back to this game. We have the Sponge coming in here with more Glaze. He's just setting up a good army to defend with at this point. Both players are just building up Glaze. Google Frog a bit less focused on that, more focused on getting information, getting up front. He's got his construction set up. The Sponge, on the other hand, going along the sides. He wants to get the peripheral expansions. He does have... Well, he's a Lotus around here. He does have some defenses set up. Consolidating areas that he's going to be taking pretty soon. Well, Google Frog does not have that yet. He's moving some glaives in around the side. He is going to start engaging a bit. Whether he likes it or not. Actually, the Sponge is pushing him to engage quite a lot. And there are... Okay, five glaives coming in here. Google Frog's commander, not the best target for that. But actually, Recon Com. Okay, Light Particle Beam Recon Com, not the best target for this. The glaives have to move away. Two, one of them dies for free. I thought it was going to be two, but not quite. That, no, that last one's not going to get away. These Glaives here are going to finish it off, possibly. See what happens, though. Glaives here are trying to do what they can. It really comes down to, well, Retreat Micro, obviously. Retreat Micro is very important in this game. But it's also... Well, it's also a matter of making sure your damage units are not the ones in the front lines. But it looks like Google Frog is going to just disengage completely. Getting some radar in the center. Also, Google Frog right now has a lot of radar coverage. At least once this radar is done, he's going to have a lot of radar coverage. Pretty much the entire map, almost all the map is Google Frogs for radar coverage. Which is also true of the Sponge, actually. The Sponge has a bit more radar coverage than Google Frog, in fact. And has an economic advantage as well. Glaze moving back, however, and... He's disengaging once again, but this Google Frog's commander is becoming a real problem. Google Frog is really pushing forward with that. Wants to just use that to gain map control directly. At the same time, it's expanding along the east side of the map, which is a very important thing to point out. So both players are expanding in... Every direction available at the same time. Nice thing to do, but Google Frog is going to stop these expansions pretty quickly. Rockos here are going to be a problem. More glaives coming in, but the glaives are not... The glaives with the sponge not doing a great job. Google Frog's commander is stopping any of them from doing any damage. So Rockos can just rush in here and become a very powerful assault force. Without having to worry about glaives attacking. A flank attempt here coming from the sponge going around the side trying to flank it out, but not able to do so. In fact... He's just going to go completely past them. He's going to deke them out and try to go into the main base instead. Avoiding the entire front line. Now the Sponge, at the same time, he is building more... He's only building Glaives. And these Glaives... Two of the Glaives are going to... No, one of the Glaives is going to go down. No, two of them are going to go down. Lotus is going to take out the other one. They are going after Lotus. I don't know how much that the Sponge is paying attention to this, mind you. He is paying pretty close attention. Okay. Getting rid of one Medley Stretcher. Possibly going to get rid of this Rector. No, the Rector cloaks out. He's not going to be able to find it in time. And the Rockos have come back to deal with this. More Glaze have come up as well to deal with this. And Google Frog pushing everything he can into his factory. Although he is building up kind of slowly compared to the Sponge. The Sponge actually, he has... Well, okay, both players have 20 metal at this point. But Google Frog taking advantage of this opportunity to just move forward to attack with his Rockos. And the Sponge building Rockos of his own. I'm a bit surprised with this one. I would almost expect he to go for Warrior... Well, Warrior Glaive. Like, Glaive to get rid of the Rockos and Warriors to get rid of the supporting... Glaze, but that Rocco to Rocco is not a bad idea, especially since the commander has been the biggest problem. 
Glaze meeting up, however, and this is going to be pretty big. Both players being very comfortable in their engagements, but I think Google Frog is going to lose this out, actually. He's... No, the Sponge, unfortunately, his units not get lined up enough. They got clumped up and cannot fire through each other. Stopping them from firing, keeping only half of his army firing. Losing a lot of Glaze in the process as well. And at the same time, Google Frog just pushing out. Now, the Sponge has been taking map control along the north side, but Google Frog has most has almost half the map under his control. He hasn't built up a lot of it yet, but he has the opportunity to do so if he wants to. And at this point, the Glaze coming forward for Google Frog just continuing to apply pressure. Not trying to kill anything yet, just applying pressure. Just slowly getting map control and not actually giving any harassment targets. Everywhere the Sponge tries to go, there's nothing there. Google Frog hasn't built it up yet. He can eventually, but he hasn't yet. He's just focusing on Reclaim instead. Just eating all the metal that he's getting from slowly creeping into the Sponge's base. Well, at this point, these Glaives here are not really given an opening. There's a tick, by the way. That tick is going to be problematic as the Glaives push in. The North as well, the Sponge is trying to harass against the Rocco. There's too much to deal with. And at this point, those Glaives are moving forward. They are... Are they going to move in position to the... No, they're not going to hit that tick, but they are going to hit the rest of these forces here. Google Frog sees them, knows where to attack, and he's going to have them surrounded, getting rid of all the glaives. All the sponges glaives go down, and the ones that are left, not even going to get hit by the tick. Not worth the tick, really. Just going to get rid of them with his own glaives. Google Frog, actually not quite getting rid of those, but at the same time, he is still pushing forward. He does have... Oh, well, he had a tick go off as well. But he does have the... Well, this attack here is done. The sponge is moving his commander in. Beam laser e cells so not really the best for assault. And the sponge trying to... He's pushing back. He is pushing back some stuff here. Okay, it looks like it was the sponge's tick that went off, but... He is pushing back, but not especially well. And the glaives are going to surround. They are going in, and they're going to surround these Rockos, block their retreat, or try to, but not succeeding. So all these Rockos actually moving forward. All these Rockos are moving out and... Keeping the sponge in some map control. However, at the same time, Google Frog pushing out to the north to get rid of what has been built already, what the sponge has had already. And that's why the sponge has an economic advantage. And a pretty big one, too. He's been floating metal a lot, by the way. Tick goes off. Stuns... Okay, Google Frog's tick goes off and stuns the sponge... Sorry. Sponge tick goes off and stuns Google Frog's tick. I think. It doesn't really matter, though. That tick didn't do anything. Really. And the Sponge, not assaulting forward, he's trying to keep map control of these. He's not flanking out, he's not trying to deal with this. He doesn't, he does have radar coverage of that section of the map. But Google Frog is just going in here. I think he's going to try to take out the Sponge's commander, but not able to do so. A tick stops one of the glades, but it's really not that big of a deal. Sponge's commander has to retreat and loses the entire northeast side of the map. At this point, the Sponge really doesn't have much of an economy. He has, he has an overdriven mechs, or a couple overdriven metal extractors, and... Couple more medley strategies which are being destroyed. And that's about it. Well, Google Frog, on the other hand, a direct assault here. These Rockos are going straight forward. They aren't going for a flank, like I mentioned. They're just going for a direct assault, and that's not working out especially well. <laughs> I mean, both sides just auto skirming, but at this point, it's almost down to luck almost. Might as well be. And at this point, the sponge just finishing off the rest of Google Frog's assault force, but like I said, this area is down. It's down. I I can speak words. I just choose not to. Anyway, the sponge is pushing. Okay, this is a nice little push out here. He has reclaimed some of his map control. Google Frog has had to push back a bit. However, this is what I mean by a Rocco flank. Google Frog is coming in very nicely with the flank here. This is going to be problematic for the sponge. These Roccos here are going to, well, as best they can are going to attack directly to get rid of the Sponge's Rockos, and no, not even then. Still not quite a flank. Well, okay, when that Brownian motion simulator is over, we'll get back to it. This point, Rocco's moving into the lava, and by the way, lava does burn. I should point out that lava is hot. It has a tendency to burn things and melt things, as these Rockos have found out the hard way. Or at least this one has. This one didn't quite die in the process. Yeah, that's one thing about Kaleo. That... That lava in the center does burn. And the Brownian motion simulator is pretty much completed. Rocco's 
for Google Frog have won out, ultimately. In a rather roundabout way, but they pulled it off. While the Glaives along the side here, Google Frog's Glaives... Sorry, Google Frog's Glaives trying to defend, but the Sponge, he's counter-harassing okay. Thing is, though, losing all those Rockos, not the best thing to have happen. Now, of course, Glaives could come in and push through and just tear apart all these Rockos. Google Frog's Commander is completely out of the way for doing that. But all those Glaives are over here dealing with Google Frog's Glaives. The Sponge does not have a great Assault Force set up to attack. And moving instead into more Rockos, I'm really surprised he's doing that. Because the Glaze, Glaze counter Rocco is pretty handily. Pretty much Glaze counter Rockos, which counter Warriors, which counter Glaives. And then you have ticks and such to throw things off by just stunning units and everything counters a stunned unit. Everything that deals damage counters a stunned unit. And these Rockos, now dealing with the Glaze, the Glaze have to deal with the Commander. So it's not going to be that easy. The Glaze are... Really only in a position to kill the Rockos if they're unsupported. And this tick! This tick goes off! Gets these three Glaives. Half the army is gone. To, actually, more than the three Glaives. A bunch of them were hit. Well, six Glaives were hit. The rest of them try to go back. Try to deal with what they can. But really can't do any damage before Google Frog's Glaives to finish them off. Oh, there were two ticks. That's why. Can't do anything until Google Frog's Glaives finish them off. And maybe... Okay, one Metal Extractor. That's it. A single Metal Extractor. And now Google Frog has the confidence to push forward and finish off whatever the Sponge has, which is these three Rockos. Not a... Okay, bit of a risky time for an Air Switch, but really, I don't know what time he really has left. Honestly, if he, if he does a few Shadows, like three Shadows to get rid of Google Frog's Commander here, and then sends in a ton of Glaives to get rid of the Rockos, I think this will turn around, and then sends in a couple of Warriors over to this side just to stop the Glaives from coming, or just any defenses, really. A couple of Lotuses would do the trick. Now his commander has the beam beam laser, a bit of a moving lotus on its own, but yeah, I'm a bit surprised. Or even a stardust, actually. That wouldn't be a bad time for a stardust. But it doesn't matter, though. The glaives are pushing in, and the Brownian motion simulator has started up once again. However, the glaives in the north are, well, they're just about ready to assault the main base from the looks of it. Phoenix coming in to get rid of the glaives. I, like I said, not quite sure about this. I really think shadows to attack the comm would be the better option. The Phoenix, however, is going to be able to get nothing gone. Nothing at all done. Hits one of the Glaives a bit, but basically nothing. And why this isn't... Why this either isn't used to get rid of the Rockos, or, like I said, a Shadow use instead is beyond me. Get a Warrior out of the factory. Get a Warrior or two out of the factory. Use the Phoenixes to get rid of the Rockos, or get rid of possibly... Okay, that wasn't a bad shot. That was a pretty good shot. Okay, those are two good shots. Got rid of a lot of the Glaives, but still. Rocco Wars like this are not going to go into the Sponge's favor. He doesn't have the numbers to win these wars. He certainly doesn't have the positioning. This side of the map, Google Frog has this entire line. That's all his. So there's really no easy way that the Sponge can deal with that. And the Sponge burns his own face. To s he burns off his nose to spite the face. Getting rid of a, getting rid of his own metal extractor, getting rid of the glaives, yes, but I think he did more damage to himself with the phoenixes than he took from the glaives, or would have taken. And once again, burning up his own base, the sponge, the Google Frog is your enemy, not not you. Actually, the rock was your biggest threat, not your own base. But no, it looks like the sponge has decided to betray himself, and is, in his attempts to defend, he's. Basically, probably doing more damage than he would have otherwise. And I think the... Okay, the Phoenix didn't quite set itself on fire. I thought it might have, but no. It did, however, send the Air Factory on fire. And Rocco Wars actually... Well, okay. Some of the Rockers have been retreated, but even then, Google Frog still winning the Rocco Wars. Google Frog, an air switch of his own, taking air control before any of the Phoenixes do anything useful. Like I said, at this point, they have been worse than useless for the Sponge. And he has not gotten rid of the Rockos at all. He has not gotten rid of anything for it. He's certainly not gotten rid of Google Frog's Commander. And just throwing in the towel, that is game. Sponge figures they can't do much from here. He probably could have, but alas, that is how the game ends. So, yeah, also people pointing in the chat. The Lotuses, I mentioned before, the Lotuses would have done it. Lotus over on this side of the map would have stopped the Glaives from getting in, or up here would have stopped the Glaives. The Rockos wouldn't have been, they wouldn't have been deterred at all, but... Still, getting rid of the Glaives, that would have meant that the, the Phoenixes could have been used to get rid of all these Rockos, and that would have turned it around. 
or at least would have given the sponge enough leeway to get back into the game. However, didn't go for that. So the sponge, if you're wondering what lost you the game, it looks like it was just the fact that you went for the wrong Phoenix moves and a bit of Glaive Suicide, but largely just didn't use the unit counters. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and that's going to be it for me tonight. So thank you all for watching, and have a good night.